Before Merkel drives the European Union towards destruction, Macron must take the lead. Emmanuel Macron, the French president who was elected in May 2017, has repeatedly warned about the collapse of the European Union project in the last few months. In March this year, when Europe was under the worst phase of the coronavirus pandemic, Macron said, what's at stake is the survival of the European project. The risk we are facing is the death of Schengen. He told leaders of 26 European nations that come under the free movement Schengen area of the European Union. The EU is in deep trouble with Britain out of the bloc and the strengthening of Eurosceptic voices in Italy, Greece, Spain and France itself. Meanwhile, lame duck German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who is indecisive on foreign policy issues, is unable to lead the group. This leaves Macron as the only voice that could unite the group and adequately represent the European Union's interests on the global platform. Macron is also willing to solve the imminent crisis faced by the European Union, while Merkel, the current de facto leader of the EU, is more interested in maintaining the status quo which benefits the irresponsible giant China. Moreover, Merkel has already scheduled her retirement for 2021, while Macron, who still has two years left, has the chance of getting re-elected. Merkel is also an avid supporter of globalization and global liberalism at a time when the idea is suffering a backlash for it has been gamed by China and other elements with ill intent. Merkel is infamous for opening Germany's borders to Middle Eastern immigrants without a check on the repercussions. In a world where the majority of countries, including the United States, are being led by protectionist leaders who oppose absolute free trade, unchecked immigration and open border policy, Merkel defends these ideas and has found an unlikely ally, China, which benefits from this liberal system but has nothing positive to offer in return. And most importantly, Trump and Merkel do not get along very well given the fact that both stand on the polar opposite sides of the political spectrum. Merkel's personal dislike for Trump has also been witnessed many times in the last three years. At a time when Trump decides countries' loyalties towards the United States on the basis of their anti-China rhetoric, the Merkel-led EU has helped Beijing escape accountability for the coronavirus pandemic. The EU also gave China entry into the WTO's trade dispute resolution body, which the US and India are not part of. She also accelerated negotiations on trade and investment deals with China and refused to take action against Chinese human rights atrocities in Hong Kong, Tibet and Xinjiang. On the other hand, French President Macron has spoken against China and its authoritarian regime many times in the last few months. Speaking to the Financial Times, Macron had said, let's not be so naive as to say that China has been much better at handling this. He also added that we don't know, there are clearly things that have happened that we don't know about, hinting at the opacity of the coronavirus numbers released by China. Macron swept to power on the plank of being an economic and social liberal, but over the past few months, he has binned this flawed version of liberalism as he finally acts tough against illegal immigrants. Perhaps owing to various terror attacks in the last two years, be it the ghastly November 2015 Paris terror attacks which killed 130 people or the Nice truck attack in 2016, several knife attacks every year and encounters with extremist ideologies, Macron has done a complete volt face when it comes to tackling the illegal immigrant issue. Macron is also leading the way against Turkey's military intervention in Libya, seeing the immediate threat a hostile regime in Libya could pose to Europe. He is even willing to communicate with Russia on the matter. Macron is willing to work in close coordination with Trump too. In April, the leaders held an extensive discussion about the response to coronavirus. While Macron wants to cooperate with Trump, Merkel wants to make the European Union the new representative of the Western world and herself as the leader of the West, 
And with the space vacated by Trump and the support of liberal media establishments, she is succeeding to a large extent but causing great damage. Merkel is ready to collaborate with China and has ditched the United States. Under Merkel, the EU could end up as a pawn in the hands of Xi Jinping and this could help him in the project of global Chinese domination. Therefore, a leader like Macron, who is not from the old school of politics, can leave the EU in a better fashion as and when its survival is at stake, rather than Merkel, who is responsible for the cracks within the system.